Welcome to Mortgage Today for Wednesday, September 20th, 2023, and oh, what a day it was. Fed Day today. We got a solid start to Fed Day with the UMBS up 13 basis points in the first hour of trading. S&P futures were up 16.5 points. The 2 a.m. Eastern Time brought inflation data from Germany and UK. Both were cooler than expected due to base effects. German PPI make the headline grabbing claim of biggest price drop ever made possible by the largest increases ever last year and are now falling out of the 12 month total. So it's just the comparison basis. Things aren't actually cheaper. Bonds didn't actually seem to be that impressed. There was definitely a bit of a reaction though gains continued through the EU session. US traders were initially sellers at the 820 CME open, but that was short lived. We also got some data out of Joel Kahn that is the NBA's vice president and deputy chief economist who expects mortgage rates to fall in the 6% range by the end of the year and into the 5% range in 2024. I agree with that. I believe the driver is going to be decline in interest volatility, though I think it's going to be high sixes and high fives, and it's not going to be the way at the end of 2024. We got the Fed announcement, which came through as their hawkish pause, so no change for now. We lower the upward revisions to the dot, dot plot. Very big swing. So in 2023, the range they're predicting is between 5.375 to 5.625, with uh, prior being 5.625, the median being 5.625. In 2024, they're predicting it to come down to 5.125, which is only a 50 basis points decrease. It was 4.625 previously, so that's quite a bit up, and that's not enough to cause any refi booms. 2025, 2025, they're expecting it to go down to 3.875. So that means there's going to be a recession coming. It was priorly 3.375, so they actually expect it to be. Uh, not as bad as they thought, and 2026 down to 2.875. So that accounts for some wild and wooly years coming up. Today's Fed announcement was largely as expected. No rate hike. It's all that dependent. It's going to be higher for longer, communicated by the dot plots. The direction of the change in the dot plot is no surprise, but the magnitude was. The median Fed member moved their forecast up by 0.5% through both 2024 and 2025. Granted, those forecasts have a poor track record of predicting the future, but they speak to the Fed's will to continue hiking if the data remains resilient. Bonds held their ground reasonably well at first, but late day positions positions where it resulted in a break to new long-term yield highs. So the UMBS 5.5 end of the day all the way down 97.61, which is super ugly, which just puts us completely off this grid. And we might have to start looking at the 6% coupon starting tomorrow. Uh, it's very, the liquidity in that bond is the big determinant of that because I mean, 6% percent have been pricing, but there are a lot of traffic in it, but this is an ugly range all the way down there. It is going to do nothing to help rates. Uh, we also got some other data. So from February of 2017 through February of 2022, the percentage of pending home sales that fell out of contract declined from 13% to 11%, except for March of 2020 and April of 2020 when they exceeded 16%. Then from March of 2022 through September 22, as rates were quickly, the failure rate jumped from 11% to 15% again. And for September 22, for the beginning of this year, rates fell in percentage from down to almost 13. And now with rates rising again, failures are approaching at 16% of contracts which is kind of some interesting stuff. And it's interesting to see how people cancel purchase contracts when rates change.